Hello YouTube, welcome back over to Gaming House, and we're bringing you part 3 of the Dying Light walkthrough. Leaving off, we're going ahead and doing the Voltage side mission, Guard Zero reboot the North and Substations, and then trigger the Central Station while it's still being nighttime. Now of course, if you're playing with a friend, or a bunch of friends, you could go ahead and split off and trigger these both at the same time. I love knocking zombies off on the rooftops. I sometimes just go out of my way. Just, whoop, gonna knock you over. A little fun side note about the survivor vision that at least still works in hard mode is telling me the distance between my objectives and all that. Now occasionally, after you've set up safe houses within each day, salespeople might appear within them. Of course, they got more supplies. Uh, whenever you say make it through the night, go ahead and boot up the map, and you could actually check which safe houses have a person selling things at them. Now, this first one to go to, of course, it's locked. So pick that, make sure it sings out around you. If you're at night, station. do be careful. The Close the door, because the all the enemies are dumb and can't open doors. Done. Good. Now you've got to do the same thing in the second substation. I go ahead and I flip back over to my thing and I realize the horrible decision I made because that fucker climbed right up that building. I think with the update they made him more aggressive at night. And definitely wander up buildings more often than I've seen them do before. I'm going to quick detour because there's a blue guy here. Not only could you have the white sail signs, but occasionally, of course, you know, like I said before with the blue random events, you have them hanging out here too. He's just up here, you know, setting fire to my safe house. That's cool, guy. As you climb up this tower and die, maybe once or twice. We're here looking around because. There's an airdrop coming. Boom, right there. And that's actually pretty cool because I've never actually been at a point where I can actually see them launch up that flare like that. So, no. Right now. Oh, yeah, see? Shit like that happens. I remember that was fun in party chat. I believe I let a good old. Oh, fuck. Out of my. Out there now. It's actually in the direction we're going, so we're gonna go ahead and get over there. Now, those flares do eventually wear off after some time. That zombie fucked up my grappling hook, by the way. Hit him with that. And he gets justice for that. Yeah, but there's our substation, and there's our cache of shit from the airdrop. After a said time or so, or after you open that, that's that light's gonna go out. So if your buddies aren't there yet, you're gonna want to probably stay there with you know, a little bit of a hard time fighting it, unless it's stolen the radar. So now that's done, right, Alfie, and it's still nighttime because the hard mode actually makes things like this actually very easy now because it keeps night on longer. Well, now we're going to go to the dreaded central station, and I hate the central station in general because this is one of the areas that you're 
drops at night can land and it's a severe pain in the ass when they do land over there. Also, in case you haven't realized at this point, do use survivor sense at night uh, to detect the creatures and all that. It's more helpful in hard mode, of course, because regular mode, again, you can see them on the radar. Now, coming up to this annoying crap here. Particularly because there's the usually a volatile to be chilling here, but there's also this mega fuck ton of zombies here. Now, I'm going ahead, I'm signing over my skills to show Tell stuff that you do. might want to get and all that. Which is definitely Vault. Vault is a definitely good one. That's, that's like a level problem. 4, that's definitely good. Uh, Ram, which I now see down there, but I never actually found it. So that's actually a later on one. But that'll be good, because you can just plow through zombies and all that. Uh, Molotovs and all that, if you can clear them out. I believe I'm going with the quickest one. I'm throwing a couple players just in case I miss any. Which again, I ignited something because jackassery. But the quickest and safest way is to possibly vault and then get up on these transformers or whatever the hell they're called here. And that's the one you're able to jump on. It's got no barbed wiring fence. So go ahead, jump on in, get in here, and immediately go flip that switch. Because I'll turn on a bunch of UV and everything else and you'll be safe. It's done. Fire it up now. And boom, that's voltage. Which I fucking hate voltage. I hate coming here at night. I hate coming to get the night drop that drops over here just because there's a shit ton of zombies. Easier, of course, again, if you have friends because they could cover your back while you're trying to get the drops. Now, getting out of here is just as fun as getting in. Except now those transformers that we can hop on are actually electrified now. As you're about to see, I'm going to take some damage. And again, that's the only side thing we had, so now we're going to do our little pack of rice. Yep, they're electrified. It hurts now. Oh, and it's raining now, so it's a good time to talk about that. Uh, it'll pop it up in the hint section, too, but whenever it is raining, weapons that have an electrical effect have a higher chance of triggering the electrical effect of the weapon. So if it's ever raining and you need to go to town on zombies, go ahead and go to town on zombies with a weapon that's got an electrical mod on it. And I love the atmosphere of this game when it's raining. Look at this. It looks awesome. Light's off. Uh, light is off. I'm sorry. I'm still technically sick here. So I'm gonna fuck up my words if I don't already sound sick. Get into a bit of a mess here just because volatiles are everywhere. Oh, also, a reminder do make sure to check in with both your quartermasters because those reset every day too. And they give you a bunch of free supplies, they give you a free weapon. You got the shield ability unlocked, they'll give you another shield. And more importantly, it's the supplies, which usually includes a free med kit and all that. Dodging the volatiles here. Just fuck those dudes. You don't want to get into a fight with them. That's a huge hassle. At least get your first kill out of the way. Get your achievement if you're an achievement horde like myself. Here I make the great mistake of jumping, and yep, that caused that. So I'm over here freaking the fuck out, getting out of here. Look, we got yet another safe zone we can get into. I got a deal for you, friend. Notice this guy's behind me here. I'm open 24 hours.
So again, fun night tips. Uh, of course, be slaughtering zombies and all that. Particularly ones if they're close to your safe house. That way if they start going volatile on you, you can at least run back in the safe house and disengage the pursuit there. Shoot, don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Here we are at Rice's place. Uh, after this, you'll notice that a lot of zombies tend to spawn outside to make a deal. of Rice's place, but there is tons of traps and such that you can knock zombies into that and kill them. So if you ever need a farm for some power points and all that, always come back over here to Rice's place because there's always a fuck ton of zombies right outside of there after this mission onward. A weird ass welcome friend sign. Here's what I like about this game is the fact that cutscenes can happen at day or night, depending on, you know, when you trigger them. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. Why is so surprised that you would steal from me? I wouldn't buy seeing fuck you somewhere guy. before. I'll fuck you up. No, I'll give you a choice. Very simple. You're right, Ant. You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Kari. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. Oh, Rise, cutting people's hands off and crap. It's rusty. And man needs a tetanus shot. I met Rice, and Jade's right. He's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've got to cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but. Also because he's got a ton of antis in the stockpile. <laughs> and in here we got all these guys with the cool little gear and all that. And of course they sit here and trash talk you despite the fact that I, you can probably kill everyone in the room. At least I could. There's a sale guy here you can always check in with now. There you are. I said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You're from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. And another reason why I actually okay, like this game more, particularly because I'm from Illinois. We'll so it's nice having a character that's Madrid. also from Illinois. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. 
If I do this, I'll get the answers in. That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. At this point, I decided no more shit at night. Which you can always do yourself. Just know that you're cutting your bonus XP and all that Kareem. whenever like you do it. Major Delmo, I guess. But if you're feeling you're getting overwhelmed no at night, just go ahead and just like say, fuck it. Kareem, I'm going to wait till morning. Antennas for rice. Which, since I have double better than being an length of time, I think I do that a few times in my videos. See out here now. A bunch of zombies are beginning to spawn. Kill them. Show them all into those little spike things. Go up here and contact the GRE, despite totally being within like eyesight of that entire compound. Just met Rise. There's no question that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Checking in here, seeing if there's any side quests and all that open up, but none do. Oh, I noticed this here. Is a scripted air airdrop. There's a few of these within the game where a drop has already dropped and it is there. It is permanent. However, it does not reset. So once you grab it, that's it. But it's a free set of supplies. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of Tal. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. And here's where it is, in this electrified pool, where these guys are not affected by electricity at all. The, the goons with those suits on and all that, they're actually immune to that effect. But you gotta sit there and you actually gotta come in here and beat them yourself. You can't sit there and wait for electricity to kill them because it's not gonna happen. gas tanks while fun it spawns runners instantly so they're gonna come at me for a little bit I sit here and fuck them up the funny thing about this airdrop this airdrop is, in, is actually the lamest one of the airdrops because uh, there's no actual airdrop it's just that here daytime see that airdrop so me being already over here decided to go for it you know I don't need it and I believe I eventually here. This one or another one where I stop and I'm just like, I need to not go after these. I was just going to make my videos even longer. But my natural instinct, of course, is to come after them and all that. So I do. Now, in case you haven't noticed with these, you always get a disaster relief. You turn that in, get survivor points. And you get either flares or you get a stack of med, med kits. Both, of course, are very useful. Here, right here, I'm picking an ambulance. These, of course, reset with each day. In these, you will find anywhere between one to two med kits. So always, whenever you get a chance and it's safe, go ahead and pick the locks of those. And you'll get yourself some med kits without having to make them or buy them. And they're fairly frequent. Just remember, it's the yellow ones that have ambulance written on the side. Because there's yellow ones that are just yellow. And there's yellow ones with Taurus written on the side in red lettering. So try not to be deceived by that crap. If 
stuck in lockpix, man. Always about that sweet spot, and then then you lose it, and then you go through like two or two or five lockpicks or ten, and then you go to the same spot you just could have swore you're at, and you didn't. Take a second and look at that with the. I'm not sure if it's hard mode or new game plus that does it, but add a bunch of new weapons, which essentially, you know, reskin and all that. But that looks cool We're at the tower here. There's gonna be a few zombies, there's gonna be goons and all that. Another fun fact with goons is they can cause friendly damage to their fellow zombies. No, slow swinging two-handed weapon is not really recommended. I try to hit that, and it's, that didn't go so well. The goons and any other special infected or so can trigger that like that with their attacks. But of course, causes explosion. Which then would spawn runners. I sit here, I take a minute, but I don't think any are coming after me, so I lock out there. Doing this, we're going to be introduced to a new special infected. The... Crap, I, forgot the, I forgot the game's actual name for them. We just call them spitters and all that. But they spit in a stupid toxic goo, so take them out quickly, because they actually got decent range and all that. Uh, those guys are susceptible to like air takedowns and everything else, so there's a plus side to that. Now here's where I get to waste a bit of time, because as you can already see right here, uh, I need to turn on the power, which I didn't do yet. But I didn't realize it until I was like halfway up the tower. I'm like, uh, why am I not able to interact with anything? I think it was right here. It was right here. I was like, damn it. So I decided to kill myself. Not really. I was hoping I was going to roll out, but that fall was too high up. And I'll say this now, since I'm dead. When you die in single player, time progresses forward a little bit. See, now it's raining and all that. So if you're dying a lot in daytime, it's going to eat up your time. And if you're trying to stay alive at night to get your survivor bonus and all that, and you keep dying, you're going to have less survivor points at the end because it's fast-forwarding the time for you. Of course, playing co-op, that doesn't matter. Time will still progress the same. Yeah, see, it's right here. I'm like, no, no, no more airdrops. I can't be stopping every now and then to go get airdrops. You should, though, if you're starting off... Get as many as you can, get your rank up and everything. Boom, that's your five. Do be careful when you get an elemental effect done on zombies such as fire, electricity, and all that. And I'm surprised that asshole lived. Because it can hurt you if you're standing right on top of them. Alright, now that we're done with that fuck up, now we actually do get to climb the tower. Now, fun fact with any of these towers you climb, there is all the way at the tip top, which you never have to go all the way to the top, there are flags to get you bonus points for agility. Now, you see what I'm doing right here is I'm noting where the trash cans and all that are because the, all the way at the top of the tower, those do not load in yet, so I'm trying to take a good long look and where those are at, because one of the ways you can either try going down the way you came up, which was somewhat complicated sometimes, because there's no actual way to climb down those things. Like, you can jump up and climb up, you can't really grab them and start climbing down. So it's usually a long drop. Which can either be very cool, 
exhilarating, you know, kind of like Assassin's Creed, jumping off hay bale, except not guaranteed to live because you can die because it doesn't lock on to the place. Or very frustrating, depending on who you are. Personally, I, I climbed all the way to the top and then I jumped off, but not in this because I, I died once already. I'm not, I'm not putting up with that shit. You can go down there. You can go see it. Bye, zombie. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. Here There's we get here. Here. Turns out to buzz. Glad we wasted our time. Again, you can climb all the way up top. There's a flag up there. It'll give you bonus points for your agility. But, you know, you just gotta work your way back down or jump all the way down and land in safety. And you notice there's water down there. You can jump into water if it is deep enough. Essentially, if you come into contact with the ground, you're gonna die. I, however, of course, say, fuck it. I'm taking a zip line. And as you see there, another example, they stole the airdrop, that's done with. They took it. They're assholes. Hey Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Really great about jumping off the of towers is if you have friends. One of you could try and be a guide at the bottom. And they could sit there and try to aim themselves at you, like we did before, and it's that has mixed results. Whether or not they hit it or they just swear, I swear it glitches out sometimes and counts it as solid ground anyway, and then they die. Another random event is killing these guys here. They should talk to me, so like, no, I'm not having that, and split them both in half. And they'll usually guard a chest, or it'll be a random thing, and it'll have a mod sometimes in it and all that. Generally, I want mods at this point in time. And, of course, some asshole fucking runners come up behind me. So they get the god hammer, which is the name of the mod I'm using on this weapon. Fire and electricity. Can't go wrong with it. I find that kick-ass cool-looking machete there, the dark machete. I eventually get one of my own, so you actually get to see me hold it. But I put that in there just in one of my vaults. Not vault, my stash. I didn't want to lose that. Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower. The fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. The other tower, it's electrified, safe. I need to climb Don't the necessarily tower. have to worry about zombies, just of course gotta worry about falling down and dying. Arise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. I'm oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. Voice me. Gas pipe. Gas pipes spawn around here. Not that you would need them, they're bad. I don't use them, because they're bad. Then again, another friendly reminder is, of course, at the top of this tower as well, is yet another flag. And at the top of each and every radio tower, at the very top, there is a flag you can grab, and it gives you bonus points to agility. <laughs> then 
Another bad thing about the climbing porch is you can't like just shimmy into another it. thing. And then there's Crane. For reason that Crane he likes to voice, I think, the opinion of the gamer sometimes, which is, you know, usually complaining sometimes, such as about side quest or climbing a fucking radio tower. This is bullshit. That's gonna end it here. Next one will be coming out you know, shortly or so. Or I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube jazz. That's what I'm talking about. Do that. And as always, welcome to come back over to Gaming House. More gameplay and commentary. Right.